G'day again everybody from down in the teaching room for the latest of our lockdown lesson tips. Today we're going to talk about stance width and how it impacts upon your ability to get a good contact on the ball at impact. So last week we had a drill for you where we, we got you to do some swings with the feet close together and we're going to talk a little bit about um, wide stances versus narrow stances, the benefits and the negatives but particularly how we might find what's best for you, all right? Now, a lot of this um, today is gonna to center around, particularly, this right ankle joint, and, and how much freedom of motion you have got, or how much uh, range of motion, I should say, you've got in this ankle here. Now, you see here, when I pull that right back, you can see that my, my foot is stretch right back so that my lower leg and my foot are almost in a straight line. Now if you're someone that's very flexible and can do that, you're able to take quite a wide stance and still get good contact. If, you haven't, if you're very tight in this ankle joint and you can barely move it beyond about this angle here, you're gonna to need to have a narrower stance. Just let me explain. So if I have a wide stance and my ball is somewhat forward or centre up here, if I have a wide stance, it's a lot harder for me to move forward to get the correct contact on the ball. Remembering that when we hit a good shot, when the ball's on the ground, the club needs to hit the ball on a very, very slight angle of descent. It's about two or three degrees downward as you hit the ball. And you catch the ball just before you hit the ground, and that's what gives you the good contact. If you hit the ground behind the ball at all, you're gonna hit what we hit what we call a fat shot, which most of you are familiar with. Where you take a divot before the ball and it doesn't go very far. Or what happens is your club will be about to hit the ground before the ball, and your brain realizes that and it tries to avoid that, and you lift up a little bit, and then you catch the ball thin, which is when we hit the ball off the leading edge of the club, we hit it in the equator and it goes very low and it hurts your arms and your wrists. The contact feels you know very uncomfortable. And I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that. So those two bad shots, the fat and the thin shot, are often when the weight is too far back. We haven't been able to get the weight far enough forward to help us to hit the ball in the correct motion, which is on a slight angle of descent, just a very slight one. Now, the one of my stance is, that makes it harder for me to get that weight all the way up to here. If my stance is narrower, and the ball's off my instep, well, my weight's almost already there. I don't really need to transfer it. The problem with a narrow stance is it makes me more unstable. And you, with a narrower stance, often most people can't swing very hard at the ball because they lose their balance. The wider stance gives us much more stability and now we can swing at it with much more speed without losing our balance. So there's a bit of a sort of a, a pro and pros and cons with those two, those two different stance widths. However, if you have a wide stance and you've got very, very good flexibility of this ankle joint, you can actually have a wider stance and come through. And if I get to here, I'll fully release that now. With a good flexibility down there, I can get my knee up to my other knee, my front knee, and I can get my hip forward enough that my weight is where it needs to be to get the correct contact. If I'm, if I'm someone who's got poor range of motion down here, all right, and I, and I can't do what I'm doing here, and I back like this, you'll see when I go back to a less flexible ankle joint position, as that comes back, my knee starts to come back, and my right hip starts to come back, and you can see that I can't get my weight forward enough to get the correct contact. So, if you're someone who's got good range of motion in that ankle joint, you can have a slightly wider stance and still get the weight forward enough to get the correct contact. If you're someone who hasn't got very good range of motion here, I recommend you take a slightly narrower stance because now, with a narrower stance, I can still get my knees together here without fully releasing that ankle joint. So for the person with poor range of motion here, I would recommend the narrower stance. So that's a pretty simple version. 
If you're someone who is inclined to want to sort of improve the range of motion down there with that ankle joint, what you can do is you can do some stretches, and those who do yoga will be familiar with this, is that you get down on the ground and like this, on your knees, and just sit on your, on your heels and just do it sort of gently at first because you might be quite tight there and just ease it down you'll feel it's sort of quite tight at first and then you just gradually increase the pressure on your, your weight on the heels and you'll start to stretch this out and if you can do this exercise just for a minute or two a day you'll be amazed at how quickly you regain the range of motion in this ankle joint here and if you can get that range of motion back, then you'll be able to take the wider stance and still get the knee up to the other knee and the hip forward enough to get the correct contact. All right? Remember, the wider stance is slightly beneficial in terms of being able to swing harder to give you more club head speed. For those of you who can't sort of change the, the range of motion in the ankle joint, just take a narrower stance, all right? You'll, it'll, 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 it'll certainly improve your contact and have less chance of hitting the ball fat and thin compared to when you had a wide stance, all right? A little bit more information there today, but I hope that makes sense. Um, just have a few swings in the backyard and, and see, see what it feels like. I think you'll soon find what I was describing becomes quite apparent to you when you experiment with those different different stance widths. Okay, good luck and uh, we'll see you next week for another, another lesson video.